Chris, you saw that the uh, the NFL decided today that they are not going to go forward with the 4th and 15 onside kick alternative. Um, the vote was basically tabled. They want some more information about it. I don't really understand that. Um, the this vote, is not a really con, con, like complicated request. Well, it, here's the deal. From what I understand, uh, it ended in a virtual, like a, it, not a virtual, an actual tie. It was 16 to 16. So 16 people wanted it, 16 did not. Um, what they are saying here is uh, the ownership tabled the proposal for further discussion. It would have given teams an alternative to the onside kick in an effort to retain possession after a score. Um, they, you know, obviously the NFL, they've been looking at ways to improve the odds for a trailing team to retain possession late in games. Um, I, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens going forward, but it, it didn't, it didn't fail. Uh, it didn't pass. It just, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, tabled. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I don't understand the people who said we want more information. This is what we're asking for. There's nothing else unless they actually want to get like an analytics department together and they want to see would this benefit my team more or hurt my team more. But that's the problem is you shouldn't be looking at it as if it helps your team or hurts your team. Is it good for the game or not? And then your coaches and your players adjust. Yeah, but I guarantee you that's owners that are afraid of how this will affect their team from wins and losses immediately and not looking at the big picture of changing a rule. Uh, real quick, we got guys asking if YouTube's working today. I just checked it. Yes, YouTube is fine. Um, you guys can hop in. YouTube's all good. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, obviously, I wanted it. Um, any proposal... Uh, that that gets passed in the NFL has to have the approval of at least 24 out of 32 owners. So, again, they weren't even close to passing it. But the fact that you've got 16 that are saying, okay, we, we like this idea. Like, one, this would be entertaining for fans, for sure. Now, the, I understand the side that doesn't want it to go through. Right, they are the ones that are. Hey, if we build a lead, that other team should not be able to get hot for three minutes and make some fluke plays and come back and win the ball game. However, in order to make the games more interesting, like yeah, you're you're fighting a business where you're trying to get eyeballs on TV sets. Like that's that's what this is all about when it comes down to it. This is a game. So whether you're up by you know two touchdowns with two and a half minutes to go or not. They're going to try and find a way to make this thing even more competitive in the last minute of the ball game because that's when everybody wants to watch. So I'm, I'm curious which, uh, which mindset is going to win out here, the, the mindset of we worked our asses off for the entire game, we deserve to win the game, or the mindset of, hey, if we're behind, like we still want to know that we got a shot. So I, I'm curious. I, I don't know which way it's going to go because I – I don't know how these guys think. Like, obviously, this stuff changes all the time. And in the mindset of Ben jumps in, he said it sounds like an XFL rule. It, it is an XFL rule. But at the same time, you got to be able to adapt. you got to be able to move what your audience wants. And the audience, I think, overwhelmingly would prefer to have this. And so I, I think I'm a fan. I mean, I, now fo- football is one of those things where they necessarily don't have to do what the audience wants because they already have all of yeah, the audience. They're still going to watch. They're still. I mean, gonna that's watch. the issue. Is is a bad week for them? Is the best week the NBA has ever had in their life? Yes. Oh, one hundred percent. Back back when it was down like twenty thirty percent, and half the country was boycotting it because of Kaepernick, and the other half boycotting it because of you know the the, the flag. Like it, it it was still the greatest ratings that any TV show had all year. Yeah. Oh, 100%. So, so they don't have to do that's the downside is they don't have to do what the fans want. Fans aren't leaving. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, they're definitely I'm not going anywhere. I can bitch about it, but I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm going to still watch. I'm going to watch as many games as humanly possible. And that's the way it goes. Let's uh let's dive off of that one. Boy, I've been ready for this one.
I've been ready all day for this one.